Hello everyone, once again welcome back to Puff Studio. I'm Amin and we are right here in Tallinn, Estonia, right in the heart of the Black Knights Film Festival. Today we have another talented, great director from Toronto, Canada. So we're gonna go start to see how was the journey they had. So how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Oh, wonderful. So it's it's such a pleasure to have you here today. And I'm so happy that we're going to talk about your experience that you actually had it in the way you made this film. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, let's start in a way that um, is the film idea or the main theme of the film has this sort of um, connection with your own childhood or not? No, it's not my story per se. Like it's about a little girl who's eight who tries to find her biological mother. So in that sense, it's not my story. And I, I, I think I know who my biological mother is. <laughs> oh, that's good. But, that's uh, but all the characters are inspired by people I know. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get into this like a bit deeper. That uh, so you got the idea of the film uh, by combining some personal experiences and knowledge and some creativity together, is it? Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah, I also uh, it's inspired by a play I wrote. Mm -hmm. So the characters I've been living with them now for like ten years, and uh, I love them. I just want to keep telling stories through them. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, the other let's get into. Uh, how do we cut content of your film a bit more that how like why you think like this uh, children have this sort of imaginations with them yeah. like is it because i mean everyone were ch child and they have their own imaginations but do you think that they are already the th in, the in how do we, they imagine in a way that you think also or no well i've i'm inspired by kids and how they yeah, how they still have more access, I would say, to their imagination than adults. They they kind of flip flop between the that imaginary world and the real world. And then when when something really sad happens, mm -hmm. I'm also impressed by how they can flip flop between playing and then remembering the sad thing and then gr you know living in that deep feeling and then snapping out of it and playing again so in the film i'm trying to uh explore that it's uh a tenacity that they have that children have i think a little more than adults all right to uh yeah still emerge from deep grief and be able to play interesting all right so the way that you actually comprehend how a child and kids think and you actually digested it it's a pretty Interesting. How did you get this sort of a skill, like this sort of knowledge? Have you like worked with them for these sort of projects, or you just throughout your life you had this? You had this with you. Yeah, I think uh, throughout life, like I'm, I mm -hmm. have a lot of kids in my life, uh, so I, you know, I, I analyze them. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I spy. <laughs> um, I play with them, and and I'm genuinely intrigued by how children live this world view the world so i anytime i have a chance to be with a child i i'm curious i question them and i take notes all right so okay so you take some kid and say what are you doing how are you <laughs> tell me what you did no, yesterday no, i'm not that creep at the <laughs> playground I, it's like <laughs> my friends children all right mm -hmm. interesting yeah. all right so um let's go about the uh, like check out how was behind the scenes so working with children all right not children like a person a teenager person and let's say kids as well how it's that working like is it hard is it uh, like um, so hard to explain what you want to what you want from them or not it's like easy it's not it's not hard per se it's different like it's so totally different than working with an adult uh child like the two uh young actresses in my film and the lead is eight so they were both eight when we were filming and i found that you know the it's one example is like for the blocking of a scene i can't tell a child actor to just go there then go there then go there i i found that if i like take their hand and say we're gonna walk five steps to the fridge open the fridge and then close it after you say this line and then turn around like very specific with adults it's more like general 
you know, direction in terms of blocking. Um, I mean, it can be. And uh, I found that, yeah, they're very intelligent. Like, if I explain what the character is going through in that scene, in that moment, they're really with me. But I can't explain the whole film. Then they don't, you know, they're a bit lost. And they're so, children are so moment to moment. So I don't need to explain the deep psychology of the whole film to them. It, it makes no sense. All right. So really stay in each moment with them helps. Pretty interesting. All right. So yeah. it needs actually hardworking then. It needs <laughs> yes. patience, hardworking, and take your time, chill. It's, it's all right. Okay, understood. Yeah. All right. So let's go and see how was the challenges beside this working with children. Um, what was the challenges in terms of combine those experiences together, make a script out of that, bring the, that script out of papers and give existence to them? How it was like, what was the challenges of making movie basically? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it takes years. That's a challenge. Like right. just staying, having the endurance for years to push your idea and, and really stay with it. Um, so it's a it's the marathon. I think is probably one of the biggest challenges, like trying to get the financing and just keep going. And then the shoot itself is uh, another big marathon. And we shot in the winter in Canada, and uh, so we were dealing with like minus thirty weather. So you know, preparing for that, making sure no one actually froze. It like logistically, it's yeah, very exactly. uh, safety is really important. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you you have passed so many hard shooting sets, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And it's hard, I guess. I mean, oh my God, minus thirty and having shootings with children. That's yeah impossible, I guess. But you have done a great job. All right. So <laughs> let's go uh, and see how was the. Uh, if you would have this uh, possibility to go back in time, uh, what would the scene that you would add to the film or you would remove it? Well, I removed about 25 minutes of the film already, so oh I don't God. think I would cut more. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it was very, um, uh, it was a big editing process. I mean, it's, I think that's normal. Like you, you cut what isn't needed anymore. Mm -hmm. In the film, uh, what would I add? I don't. It's an interesting one. I've actually never uh, thought of adding a scene, so I, that must be good, because I don't feel like there's you know big, Any more like there so. are little things I would do differently. Like oh, I would shoot that a bit differently next time. So okay. next film. Next film. I'll sure do that. We are waiting. We are waiting. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So uh, to. To have the possibility of uh, screening your film in Puff, uh, what it would add to your uh, experiences of making film? Like, does it give anything? Does it add to your experiences or film film making? Or you have already been to many film festivals, other film festivals. How it was like the difference and how mm -hmm. it would add something to your career? I love being here. Mm -hmm. I'm so thrilled to be invited. Uh, to Tallinn and this festival it's uh, all the colleagues I know who have been here speak highly of this festival oh, so right. it's amazing yeah to be here and it's the international premiere so I, th I hope it just helps the film to expand its travel base to oh, keep traveling okay. yeah that was uh, wonderful to hear okay so if you would like to have some sort of sentence or a message to our audience uh, what would be that? And you can sell it to this camera up here. Right. Hi, everyone. Uh, please come see Neon Dreaming. It's got three showings at the festival, Just Films. And the first one is already sold out. So get your tickets fast. All right. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to have you Great. here. Thanks Thank so you. Much. Thank you so much once again for watching us, being with us and keeping going with us. And I would like to just remind you, don't forget to check our social media. There's so many contents up there. Check them out. Until another interview, have a great day. Bye.